Alright, hello, uh, it's Marcus here. I am about to do a little bit of a video for those of you who are having trouble with texture pack support for the um, experimental features that just came out uh, on Terraria 1.3.4.2, which now is 3. Um, first thing that's really important is follow all the instructions that they give you, and I'll try to make show it up on the monitor here. Um, one of the things you have to make sure is that the texture pack is a zip file, not a RAR. You can use WinRAR if you want to, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you're having even still trouble, make sure to copy their texture pack.zip file instead from the one they give you, which you can find uh, right here in this little link down here. Uh, so you see the structure that you need. You need a texture pack in the Terraria My Games document folder. Uh, they tell you also for um, Macintosh and Linux. So let's get down to the problem that some people are saying. They still can't get textures to work. And I think the most notable mistake everyone's making is, is they're not indexing the images properly. Um, from what I can gather from a standpoint, here is a look at one of the um, textures I have just taken. I have decided to take some from Sonic, the flickies, little birds, because I was replacing my ravens, no pun on the master ravens thing. And you'll notice that I have eight sprites taken. Uh, they're duplicated because there's only four um, sprites available. So I had to double them for each frame. So what do you have to do to make sure that your little... Um, sprite for the projectile or armor you replace works. Well, the most important thing is, I'm going to see if I can go back to undoing what I've been doing. Yes, okay, we're back. Alright, you can see this is normally how you start. When you start a new sprite table, we'll just do this one. Here is your new little board. And what you want to do is you go up to Images, Mode, and change it to indexed color. Not RGB, not any of these other options. Make sure it's 8-bit and make sure it's indexed. If it is not, it will not load into Terraria. And this was one of the notable mistakes I've made because I had this saved as a PNG and it didn't load into Terraria. So what I had to do was go to images, go to mode, click on indexed color, Make sure you check transparency. If you don't, it's going to come out really bad. So it uses an extra color. And it's basically, you can't have more than 255, which I don't think Terraria uses that full scale, but just make sure you use that for that sprite. Click on transparency. You'll notice a lock icon appears on your sprite sheet. It says indexed, and it still has the transparency. Make sure to save it as you usually would. And let's go ahead and have a look at what happens when I use my ravens on Terraria. If you do it like this, and you put it in the correct folder and everything, all your sprites and pro projects should work just fine. This is completely different compared to uh, the mods that have been coming out, which basically replace all the data banks. So this is probably a lot more user-friendly. The only mistake that everybody seems to be making is not turning their images into an index. I'm hoping Terraria would launch anytime soon. There we go. It took a while. I have it on monitor, so it'll be fine. Let's go to multiplayer, join a server, and just hop onto my server and quickly do this. So I'm using my Raven staff. Okay, apparently I have slow motion going on here because of this. So I'm going to switch it to the game capture. Let's see if that works. One of the flaws that happens with this. And there you go. You can see my ravens have been completely replaced. They look like tiny bees and they're not really animated. But um, it's close enough. But it works. So there's my little flickies from Sonic. Um, they work. They act just like the ravens, it's just a projectile replacement. They're not as coolly animated, but just as that, it'll be on the forums because I'm going to put that out there so people can actually get a kind of a feel of what you have to do. I'll also put a little bit of a guide in there so that they know, okay, use Photoshop. As for if you're using GIMP or Paint or whatever, don't ask me how you do it. Hopefully somebody who's more professional with those types of editors 
can do it, but just make sure it's indexed. Something to do with 255 colors, you have a transparency checked, and it is an 8-bit channel. Anything like that, it'll work. Anything but that, and you'll have problems. So, as always guys, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit. I am Marcus. Don't forget to subscribe, follow on Twitter. If you need more help, just post in the comment section or in the thread on Terraria forums, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.